Y'all, I signed up for an online dating website. <laughs> Y'all want to hear how it's going? Hey, my little love bugs. It is Tosh Point Fro from ToshPointFro.com and I am back with another mukbang today. I'm doing a snow crab seafood boil. Oh gosh, the scramps. Did you see the scramps? I, <laughs> I have shrimp. I have little mini potatoes that look like fingers. I have this um, broccoli that I made extremely spicy. Oh God, I almost choked eating it. And then I have some Persian cucumbers. And I had a call, but it's okay because I'm gonna call her back. So if you are new, I am Tosh Point Fro, and this is my eating show. <laughs> and here I eat, I talk, and we just spread good vibes. Um, oh, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the notification bell because if you do, you will get a shout out if you leave me a comment. So if you leave me a comment below in every video, I choose a shout out to give and this person is the person who got it today. Um, so just make sure you leave me a comment below and then you might get picked next. So let's pray and then eat because I'm really hungry and I'm really excited. God, whoa, it's me again. That broccoli was extremely spicy. I did not expect that. You knew though, you knew. Um, thank you for bringing me to this table again to share this meal with my audience. I love them and I'm so appreciative of them, appreciative of them and their, their presence in my life. Thank you for bringing me out the house a little bit yesterday. I'm gonna tell my audience a story about me going out because I needed it and I got to fill my social tank back up and I'm just happy to be here. Continue to bless my audience, continue to bless my life and guide me on this journey that I am currently going through that is making me so much stronger and bless this food in your name. Amen. All right, y'all. Let it go. I want the shrimp first. You know what? Mmm. I made some of Dame's dip and dash butters. Cause I was like, I haven't had that in a while. He was in um, Dallas not too long ago, like a couple days ago. Little Damey. Damey poo. Okay. That's also good. I remember he came here and I felt, told him, I was like, I'm sorry I haven't bought any. I just be making it. He was like, oh, that's fine. You should just make it. Cause it is so good. Mm. Oh, child, that's best. You want pick? You, I know you don't want this first. Hmm. Maybe I should do this side. Thumbnail. I got these little cutie potatoes. These little cutie patooties. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Those potatoes cooked perfect. So yeah. I went out last night. A girlfriend of mine. Mm. Oh. A girlfriend of mine has a um a like a event venue called for the culture studio and you know since covid she's been closed down but she wanted to do like a little reopening just something small intimate private event 
And I was like, okay, like I can get down with that. And y'all, it was so much fun. So many of my friends were there. I met some really cool new people. Oh, I broke. Mm. Mm, child. Yes. Let's go. Let's do it. And there were so many like, and everybody was just dressed so cute. She had a violinist come. She had a singer come. And it was good because it wasn't like so loud that we couldn't talk to each other. I hate going to parties like that. Like, hello, I wanna talk. Jojo, I see you. Wigs back. All right, now it's time to get in here. Oh, you thought something fell? No, man, because I'm quick on my feet. Nothing fell for you. Get back. Get back. Jojo is a criminal, y'all. Oh my god, I'm not getting the big pieces out. But that flavor got in there, though. That flavor got in there though. Ugh. Boys. Ladies, do y'all ever just have a, like a little flashback of like something some man done said to you? Well, the man who taught me how to make this seafood boil got on my nerves, but he was at the event last night. If he watching, I don't think he watches my videos though, so I'm not saying anything, but he, yeah, you know who you are. <clears throat> Excuse me. With your attitude and your slick talk. Nah, he cool though. So if you want to see pictures. Hmm? Hmm? Follow me on Instagram. Because that's where the pictures are. And I'll be posting more over the next couple days. You know when it sounds like like something's big in the dryer, so it's clonking around? That's how it sounds in my house, but like my dryer is going. So I'm assuming it's a neighbor. Like maybe the people above me? I don't know. Claude, give me your meat, Claude. Mm. I like the onions in Dame's sauce, which is saying something, baby, because I don't like onions. But the sweet, um, the sweet sauce that you put in Dame's sauce almost makes the onions taste like they candied, and I like that. So what else y'all been doing? Staying out of trouble. Now. I haven't either. <laughs> I've been causing a ruckus. I was honestly just proud of my little outfit yesterday, to be honest. I was like, okay, Lisa look cute. Oh.
Y'all, please remember that, like, the stuff that you're going through right now that's hard is making you stronger for tomorrow. Because when I tell you I have been having things pile on me, child. And there are things that I have to deal with on my own. And, like... It'd be hard. And sometimes you just need a friend to listen to you, which luckily I have friends that do. Y'all, y'all president got a disease that happened today. Oh, my nail broke. I don't wish bad on anybody, but oh my God. He was just on the, at the debate talking all kinds of mess. Sir, karma is real. Stop it. You just, you need to focus. Focus on your own health. Health of the country as well. Excuse me. Sorry, I know I'm not going for the big pieces. I like snow crab better though. I'm surprised you didn't leap to my feet when you saw that I dropped that, man. I just threw the broccoli in with the boil. Child. Excuse me. Ooh, 
Spice is real. You lucking out. Come on. I dropped all kinds of crab leg down there. He just... Dang. I was excited. Hey, man, you got it. You, you got it. Bye. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, his spicy come out. Those starting to run. Hey, get back. You got it all, sir. One is good to have little fingers too. You just swipe that. You see that swipe? Oh, baby. Oh my God, it's just breaking. I feel like I need more butter. Because I have like, I added so much sauce. Cause I take Dame sauce, but I, I like change it to make it how I want to make it. Mm. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to melt a little bit more butter on top. Cause I was like, I want it to be thick. All right, y'all. Saucer where getting lit. All right, y'all, hold on. Let's Oh my God. You coming out. <laughs> Listen, one way or another, I'm getting the meat. Okay, let's work smarter, not harder. Boop. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I told you. I feel like I'm still losing. There we go. So, I'm sorry, I probably haven't even been asking you questions. How are you? If you still rocking with me, how you doing? You been keeping your spirits up? Or at the least trying to? I know it get hard. 
Child, I know it get hard. I'm just now starting to feel like myself again. And then when that happens, I just I just wonder how long it's gonna last. Y'all, I signed up for an online dating website. <laughs> Y'all want to hear how it's going? <laughs> Yo, this one man, I don't tell people what I do. Like, unless you recognize me, I'm not going, I'm just going to say I work in social media, which is not a lie. So there's this guy, and. He asked me to meet him for drinks. But I actually, um, one of my standards, and notice that I said my standards. I understand that this is not your standard, but I'm saying that my standard is I don't meet for drinks. It's already weird enough dating and meeting up with people and is like something I'm still very apprehensive of. So if I am going to meet up with you and you're not even willing to like pay for a meal, I want to meet up with you. I don't think you think my time is worth it. And it takes this takes time. And honestly, like one of my makeup brushes costs more than that dang drink. And I'm gonna have to use several makeup brushes to have drinks with you to get this face right. So no, I will not. Yeah. I was like, well, I actually, and, and I was very polite about it though. I was just like, you know, well, I just don't meet, um, I don't meet men for drinks. And so he was like, oh, so what? It has to be dinner or a meal. And I was like, if I'm, um, so, so you're, you only meet for dinner or a meal. And I was like, if I'm interested in him, then yes. Notice if I'm interested, are you interesting? Is what I wanted to say, but I didn't. Y'all, he unmatched me. <laughs> but see, this is my thing. That's my standard. Number one, y'all know I like to eat, but I'm not. Clearly, I can buy my own food. We ain't worried about. I don't need you to feed me, sir. It won't be the highlight of my of my night for you to take me to Cheddar's. But, Cheddar's, but. Just the fact that if you are worried about a woman using you for food and, and like, and that's like a big concern of yours. Like you like, no, I ain't going to be getting free meals out of me. You're not the one for me anyway. Not because of the meals, but because you valuing it that much. Like, I don't mind going out and paying for, I will go out and pay for my girlfriends to eat. Like, it just shows you're not a giving person. And you wanna, and you, you're starting off cheap. And I'm a giving person, so I, I don't need you to start off cheap. But he was just my bad one. Actually, I have had, um, there's some other guys that are very nice. I was surprised. Like, make me laugh out loud when I'm reading their messages. Nice. And I'm like, what is this? So we'll see. I haven't met up in, with any of them. But. We'll see if he goes anywhere. I'm not really focused on dating right now. It was really just my homegirl was like, get on a dating app. She kind of challenged me to it. So I was like, okay. But I'm not worried about it.
I've been single since December. Don't really want to change that. A guy would have to be really worth it. And I don't know any that are. <laughs> that sounded so mean, but I don't. I don't know any that are worth me changing my relationship status. Or that could get me to. Oh, and I watched this episode of The Boys because it's Friday today. I watched the episode of The Boys today because you know it's a new episode every Friday. Oh, child, that show. It's just crazy. Literally crazy. Like, under no circumstances should your child be watching the boys. If you have a kid and they talking about the boys, you... Oh, goodness. They but they need to be 18. That show is a mess. But it's still so good. I wish I was in Houston. I'd be eating everything. They got some good food places in Houston. I try to drive down there one day. I just started, <laughs> I started thinking about last night in the party. My friend caught me off guard so many times. He is such a turd. And I'm so good to him. I don't know why he would do that. I'd be helping me. I'd be helping him with his girls. Like when he like a girl, and I let him talk to me about it. And this is how you treat me. Like this. Nah, he's my homie. He was talking to this girl. It was this fun. It was funny because like there was this point where like we were standing kind of in the hallway, and this girl that he had mentioned earlier to me walked by, and as soon as she walked by, we just locked eyes. <laughs> he was like, "That's how I know you a real one." <laughs> And I met this girl named Becky. Becky? She has a podcast called Becky the Poet. I want to check it out. She seems so cool. Like, she had really good energy. And I didn't have a chance to talk to her for a long time. But from what I was gathering, she seems like a really dope person. You know how some people just kind of have that, like, that warmth about them. She had the warmth. Mm. 
Why won't you stay intact? being difficult you already dead y'all i love when people ask me if i could ever go vegan no not unless i had a, it it was that or death no it's not that i can't i just don't want to veganism feels like everything i don't want not everything that I do because like I love vegetables but they don't even be eating vegetables all the time and I feel like I would have to eat way more fried food because I like fried food then steamed food would get old But there are like some real refined dishes. I found this boy on on TikTok. Oh, y'all. He certainly has gone to like some professional um, culinary school or something. He is like teaching me how to make like mushroom stock and how to um, prepare garlic in different ways. He's so lit. And he followed me back. Excuse me, follow me back. Which on TikTok is lit because when they follow you back, y'all can talk to each other. But so you know that they're gonna see your messages. It's not like that on Instagram. They might not see your message. Especially like if it's, if it's a celebrity or something. But your girl did get certified on. Oh wait, it's certified. Verified on TikTok. Ew, ew, I'm not trying to have this be like the longest mukbang ever, but I'm not about to stop eating my food. So I hope you still rock it with me. And share this video with somebody. Oh my god, well, that's probably TikTok one. No, it's okay, huh? But y'all, we're almost at a million on TikTok. Like, I have one, I have 925,000 followers. So, I don't know what I'm going to do for a million, but it's going to be litty. I don't know if I'm gonna fool with this, Joe. Nah, it's back. <laughs> you thought you was getting away? You thought I wasn't gonna see you up there? You thought you was gonna hide behind a cucumber? Oh no, you're not hiding behind no cucumber. I'm eating you. Yep. Mm. Okay, I'm full. <laughs> mm. I don't even know where my napkin went. 
Just like you don't need a napkin, just give me your hands. Oh, yeah. That was good. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up because I love you and I need the thumbs ups because it makes my video more popular. Also, honestly, just thank you for coming and having this meal with me. It was a little bit longer, but you know I love sitting down with you guys. I know I'm not like on this everyday thing, which honestly is because I'm trying to do more and I'm trying to do it by myself and that gets hard and I really envy the women who have like boyfriends who like help them with their projects or like who have mom managers. That would be amazing. But yeah, thank you for being a part of my meal today. I hope you enjoyed the seafood. I love you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with everybody you know so that I can get a little bit more popular and then hopefully be able to do big things in life. It's okay. Even if you don't, I'm still going to do big things in life. I got confidence in myself. Well, godless, I love you. And until we eat again. <laughs> Bye, guys.